Robert Ellis here. Let's have a talk about the new Apple AirPods Pro. I've had these since the day they released. Um, and have been using them consistently ever since then. And as I've stated before in a previous video, there's, you know, whatever form of pod that Apple has had in the past and still do sell and still do come with bones or whatnot. And they've never fit me. Um, I could really never use them. They would actually cause me pain. And that's, you know, I would try them, give an honest hard try for two weeks to try to get used to them. Never could. I don't use them. But when they brought out these new pros, they were a different design, and I decided, let me go down to Tampa, International Plaza store, Apple store, check them out. So I did. And I decided to buy the pair. And I'm very happy with them to the degree that they do what they do for me. Um, and let's, let's have a talk about that. Um, Apple decided, and this is, uh, okay. They come with multiple tips, but they're different types of ear tips. Um, they don't have that hard centerpiece that, like, um, one of my favorite pairs of um, wireless, okay? Not all, you know, these are Beat X. Beat X. They fit my ears wonderfully. They feel so, they're the most comfortable ever for me. All right? But they do have, you know, this kind of a stem, you know? And let's talk about that. So the, the AirPods, the AirPod Pros, don't have a stem. They have this little, you know, so basically they're, they're, they're soft. They're supposed to conform to the inside of your ear, not ear canal. All right. They really don't go in your ear canal. They stay outside of your ear canal and supposed to seal. Okay. And they have, you know, this wonderful app. Um, when you go into um, Bluetooth, uh, your, your pods are, in, you know, in your ears installed. You can go into information. And they have a little part in there where you can test whether or not these are sealed to your ears. Um, and these just don't seal to my ears. I've tried every, every. Uh, I, I was obsessed with Taking this off, let me try the next size. Putting it back on, to, to mixing them up to, to, for at least a couple of weeks, easy. I was obsessed with trying to get that little app to show me that I had gotten a good seal. Every once in a while, I get a good seal on an ear. Most times, not. Almost never now do I get a good seal. No matter what tip size I'm using, they just don't seal. Um, but I continue to use them because they're very convenient. Uh, uh, they're reasonably comfortable for me. Um, the transparency mode, I really like it You know, to use at times. Uh, it's either transparency mode or I do use... Um, the act of noise cancellation, which works to a degree, but certainly doesn't give me the full effect at that active noise cancellation could be if I had a, quote, good seal. Um, and, and to show you, okay, one day, one day, as a matter of fact, so... The number of times that I've been to this, <laughs> um, to go and say, oh, okay, let me, uh, well, let me swap these things out again and, um, you know, try a different size, um, 
you know. Let me swap in a different size and try them again and try to get that good seal. The seal of approval of the good seal. I, I, I can't count the number of times I've done this. Numerous. Uh, ponderously numerous times. To such a degree where one time, um, you know, I, oh, I take this out, I pop it off, uh, and and go. I, it, it just would not snap in place. All right, these snap in place. All right, they don't have that stem where you put on like the other typical in ear pods. It, um, it just wouldn't snap in place. I go, oh, man, I'm going to have to take these back. There's something messed up with these things, right? Until I took out, you know, and go, wait a minute, there's something wrong with this, right? I go, oh, my God. You know, on the on these, there's a, you know, these are paper kind of thing. It's more, it's a little more than paper, maybe very thin cardboard that they snap onto here. Uh, well, the top portion came off and stayed in. <laughs> okay, and that's why it, I couldn't get it installed properly on the Pro, the AirPod Pro. So I managed with great care to get that piece of paper or very thin cardboard out of there and was able to, okay, rectify that. All right. But that just goes to show you how I, I've used, I've swapped so many times that eventually I, I, I'm wearing out, I guess, the adhesion of the paper little cardboard that retains these on here. And to this day, I just can't get a proper seal. I just can't. Now, personally, and this is all the, from experience and from my own personal perspective. All right? No, that's not good, you know. I had wished that along with this new design of the AirPod itself, um, and the features that it offers, such as, yes, it's, it's true, with normal, uh, with like these beats, all right, I put in my ear, they fit perfectly, they're in, they're in the ear canal type fit, they're very comfortable, but you do have that kind of if people are sensitive to the pressure that that may cause, which is minimal, I don't notice it anymore. Um, all right. If you took this design where you have the hard stub, okay, that you put your silicon tip on, and that was the design of this, put on this on the new AirPod, these would be perfect for me absolutely perfect i could put those stick them in my inner you know ear canal they would seal perfectly and they would be wonderful and based on the design where this these airpods right equalize that pressure having them go in the canal the ear canal itself would not be an issue it just wouldn't be an issue so i understand why Apple did what they did, okay? Because some people don't like things going into their ear canal. They're uh, feared that something may stay in there. Um, not really a case. But I also understand why I don't get a good seal with these because depending on how your ear is shaped, you may not get a good seal, just like I don't. I don't get a good seal on either ear. Period. It does not occur. So I wish Apple. Maybe one day they'll make another type. Type 2. You can have the non-in-ear version. Or you can have the in-ear version. 
and I would opt for the in-ear version for somebody like me. Stick that in there. Yay! Good seal. Active noise cancellation would work like a freaking charm. It still works without getting a good seal. Just doesn't work as well. All right. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. So this is one person's experience, mine, where I'd wish these were designed in collaboration with the way the X beat X's work as far as in in the ear canal but they aren't so don't be surprised as you turn out to be have the experience such as myself where they're good they're convenient as all get out but they certainly aren't perfect all right there you have it Robert Ellis <laughs>